All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions. Market Insider TV, our opening commentaries. It's uh, Wednesday morning, March 14th, and good morning, Brian Hoops for Midwest Market Solutions here. Uh, we are going to look at uh, some of the major uh, stories involving the markets this morning. Uh, remember, if you have any questions uh, outside of this commentary, you can reach out to any of our offices. I have them listed on the screen there. I know they'd be glad to uh, talk with you if you uh, have any marketing ideas, questions, or uh, want to open a brokerage account. All right, uh, it's Wednesday morning, the 14th of March. Um, margins for corn, soybeans, meal being increased with today's close. And not a surprise as we continue to push high prices a little higher, get into a little bit more volatility, that we do see uh, margin requirements being increased as well. The uh, average trade estimate for NOPA crash report that comes out tomorrow is seen at 149.4 million bushels. That's up nearly 5% over last year for the month of February and would be a new uh, record for this time of year. March uh, grain futures go off the board today and uh, we saw no private export sale announcements this morning. We've had a uh, couple corn sales on Monday. On Tuesday morning we had a corn sale of optional origin, meaning it may not have came from the United States. Now it could have, but uh, it is not being disclosed yet where it came from. Uh, that was to South Korea. And then this morning, no private export sale announcements. Overnight trade, we saw corn unchanged to fractionally higher. Beans, a little bit higher in the front months, led by meal and wheat futures anywhere from uh, two to three cents lower. The uh, trade still looking at weather forecasts and they've taken a little bit of weather um, rain out of the forecast for Argentina giving us a small bounce in here. Um, I, I do like selling or hedging November beans up in this uh, 1040 area especially if uh, you want to protect things with a, a put option. We've got some marketing strategies there that I think uh, we can help you with as far as getting a price floor at a decent cost and leaving the upside wide open. Um, in the livestock trade, pretty volatile session yesterday. We did have some cash trade uh, give us a little bit of a rally late in the day. 126, 127 in the south. That's fully steady with a week ago. Prices in the north, 126 to 128. And bids are 205 on a dress basis, and they've been passed so far uh, this week. Uh, we do look for more uh, bull type spreading and uh, choppy type action in the cattle market. If you have any questions, contact any of our offices. I know they'd like to uh, meet with you, talk about marketing strategies. This has been Brian Hoops from Midwest Market Solutions. Uh, have a great day, and uh, we'll be back uh, this afternoon.